A knee injury can occur due to various reasons such as sports activities, accidents, or repetitive strain. It can range from a minor sprain or strain to more severe injuries like torn ligaments or cartilage damage. Proper diagnosis and treatment are essential for a full recovery. Here are some common types of knee injuries and their treatments. 1. Sprains and strains. These occur when the ligaments or muscles around the knee are stretched or torn. Rest, ice, compression, and elevation, rice, is often the first line of treatment. This includes resting the knee, applying ice packs to reduce swelling, compressing the knee with a bandage, and elevating it to reduce fluid buildup. Over-the-counter pain relievers can help manage pain. Physical therapy exercises are usually recommended to strengthen the knee and restore range of motion. 2. Meniscus Tears The meniscus is a piece of cartilage that cushions the knee joint. Tears can occur through sudden twisting or degenerative wear and tear. Treatment options depend on the severity of the tear. Conservative approaches include rice, physiotherapy, and avoiding aggravating activities. In more severe cases, surgical options such as arthroscopy may be considered to repair or remove the damaged meniscus. 3. Anterior Cruciate Ligament ACL, tears, these are common among athletes and often require surgical intervention. Surgery aims to reconstruct the torn ligament using either a graft from your own tissues or from a donor. After surgery, a rehabilitation program with physical therapy is crucial to regain strength, stability, and range of motion. 4. Patellofemoral Pain Syndrome This condition involves pain around the kneecap and is frequently seen in runners or individuals with muscle imbalances. Initial treatment often includes rest, physical therapy to strengthen the surrounding muscles, correcting biomechanical issues, and using knee braces or taping techniques for additional support. Pain medications and anti-inflammatory drugs may also be used. It's important to note that these are just a few examples, and knee injuries can vary widely. It is always advisable to consult a healthcare professional, such as an orthopedic specialist or a sports medicine physician, for an accurate diagnosis and appropriate treatment options tailored to your specific injury. Certainly. Here are some additional types of knee injuries and their treatments. 5. Patellar tendonitis, also known as jumper's knee, it is an overuse injury characterized by inflammation or small tears in the patellar tendon. Resting the knee and avoiding activities that aggravate the condition is crucial. Physical therapy exercises, such as stretching and strengthening, can help relieve symptoms. In some cases, bracing or taping the knee may provide additional support. Severe cases may require more advanced treatments like extracorporeal shockwave therapy or even surgery. 6. Osteoarthritis. This is a chronic, degenerative condition where the cushioning cartilage in the knee joint gradually wears away, resulting in pain, stiffness, and decreased range of motion. Treatment for osteoarthritis aims to manage symptoms and slow down its progression. This can include weight management, physical therapy exercises to strengthen the surrounding muscles, medications for pain management, such as nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, injections, such as corticosteroids or hyaluronic acid, and assistive devices like knee braces or walking aids. In severe cases, joint replacement surgery may be considered. 7. Bursitis. Bursi are fluid-filled sacs that provide cushioning and reduce friction between tissues. When they become inflamed or irritated, it can result in bursitis. Rest, ice packs, and anti-inflammatory medications are commonly prescribed to reduce pain and swelling. Avoiding activities that worsen symptoms and modifying movements can help alleviate discomfort. In some cases, aspiration, fluid removal, or injections may be necessary. 8. Knee dislocation. This occurs when the bones of the knee get forced out of their normal position. It is a serious injury that requires immediate medical attention. A dislocated knee often requires manual reduction, putting the bones back into place, by a healthcare professional. After reduction, stabilization measures like bracing, splinting, or casting may be necessary. Physical therapy is usually recommended to regain strength, stability, and range of motion. 
It's worth noting that the treatments mentioned here are general in nature, and the specific guidance and recommendations may vary depending on the severity and individual circumstances of each knee injury. Always consult with a healthcare professional for a proper evaluation and personalized treatment plan. If you found this video informative, please consider subscribing to our channel for more educational content on various scientific topics. We encourage you to share this video with others who may benefit from a better understanding of new treatment. Remember, knowledge is power when it comes to safeguarding our health.